Okay, Matt, so why is that bucket of water dirty? The bucket of water is dirty because we wash the plants off with it. So why are you why are you washing off potato plants? What's the purpose of that? The reason why we wash the potato plants off is because when it comes out of the ground, there's a lot of dirt. And to better grade it, we need to see what's dirt and what's disease, so the water clears away most of the dirt. Powdery scab is a disease caused by a slime mold that lives in the soil. When it infects plants, it'll form, it'll cause these warts or these galls to form. And so we rate the, the number of galls, we estimate the number of galls on the root system. It's not, we're not sure if this causes a significant yield loss. Um, in some places they've reported that, but most varieties, it, it doesn't, varieties, it doesn't seem to harm the growth of the plant too much. The real problem is, is that this same pathogen will grow on potatoes. And so as this potato ripens, it may start to get, or matures, it will start to get lesions on here. Now it hasn't done it yet, but eventually it'll get these little scabs, and that's why they call the disease powdery scab, and it makes the potato look ugly. So the consumer doesn't want to buy it. Therefore, if you're selling these potatoes, say, to go to a restaurant, if they have those lesions, then the restaurant may say, no, I don't want to buy your potatoes. So the farmer gets stuck, and they can't sell the crop. So what happens the disease that shows up on the roots, it's not always related to what shows up on the tubers. In fact, the, uh, the russet skin varieties, a lot of times that we use for french fries, they may get a lot of galls on the roots. They won't get any on the tubers. So it's not that big of a deal. However, recently there's been a change in this disease complex which has made things a lot more um, difficult. And that is that this pathogen or this slime mold, sometimes we'll call it a fungus, but it's not really a fungus. It can pick up a virus. And that virus is known as potato mop top virus. Now, when this plant dies, that's that nodule there, that gall is gonna fall into the soil, and it's got hundreds of thousands of little spores that will be released you know, over the next several years. So these can stay in the soil for probably at least 10 to 12 years. If this organism picks up that virus, that potato mop top virus, and what will happen is it will cause the inside of the tuber to become discolored. Now that does become a big deal even for russet varieties because if you're trying to make french fries and the inside becomes discolored, then you can't sell them and the crop can get rejected. And so we're doing all we can to find ways to reduce the infection of this organism on the plants and as a result reduce that virus, that potato mop top virus that rides with it. When you guys go and buy french fries, do you want your fries looking gold and crispy or do you want them looking nice and, and black and bluish? Uh, gold and crispy always. Yeah, I agree with you.